Hi, I got some deliveries from China and also from eBay, I think. Yeah, this one is eBay and I think this one was eBay. So let's open it up. Yeah. Oh, they are big. So these are seven segment displays. I thought they are small. Yeah, but that's okay. I take the big ones. Uh, I have many seven segment displays, but they're non-standard. So I want to use parts that you can also purchase somewhere all over the world. And uh, these you can get everywhere, I think. So this is the part number. BH, okay. So four, five, five pieces here. Nothing more to say there. Multiplexing here. I think uh, there is one pin for digits. So each digit has one anode or cathode and each other pin is the segment. So easily to address and easily to work with, I think. Yeah. Uh, next one. Oh yes, so these are drivers for the seven segment displays. Uh, so this is the typical IC to drive seven segment displays. And uh, yeah, I think uh, even it's like uh, eight address bits or something. And yeah, you can drive LEDs or seven segment di display from this end. Uh, I just ordered one, not surface mount, so we can use it on the breadboard easily. So next one, okay, well packed. Oh yes, oh nice, so uh, this is GPS and uh, GLONASS antenna and I see, oh, it's really small, I like it, so I will compare it I was looking really for small antennas there. It even has a pad. Um, I have um, this here. So this is this is small already, but this one is even even smaller. So a really tiny GPS antenna. Yeah, great. You can build a tracker now. I think this is a serial connection as usual. It says TX here. Ah, yeah. So, this is a simple UART connection. Great! Great, I'm looking forward to use this. So GPS logger is coming. Next one. I think they came fast. They uh, have this battery connector, so this is great. Yeah. Nice. So we don't need an extra shield or something to put, uh, to connect the battery there. Reset button, but no extra button. Okay. I take it. And I don't know if there is a power LED. I hope not. 
because I would have to remove it. So if we are running on batteries we want to not to waste all the energy for driving LEDs. Yeah, here it is. I think this one. This is the power LED. Yeah, but we can remove it. Great, so uh, nice ESP32 ones. We, we really have to start doing something with the ESP32. I have plenty of them. ESP32 is a dual core uh, processor, so one processor is um, completely used for the Wi-Fi stuff and Bluetooth stuff. So the complete uh, calculation power of the, the other one is used for your software. So the ESP8266 has a really hard time to schedule the uh, TCP stack and it crashes if you don't do it and so you have to put in delays or something and the PWM doesn't work uh, that great if you're using um, also Wi-Fi. So with the ESP32 we are able to use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth while doing good PWM and uh, real-time work there. So I'm really looking forward to use this. Next one! What's this? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, the typical, like you have maybe seen on uh, the counter, this uh, subscriber counter that I got from my housemate. These are seven segment displays and um, they have a little bit smaller digits compared to the seven segment displays that I have ordered there right here for comparison. Uh, these are the ones that I got but the pins should be the same and here this is the driver chip which is also simply the SMD variant of this one here. So this one, this is the breadboard friendly one and this one is for production or whatever. <laughs> nice. The biggest one. What is this? <laughs> you can already see it. And this will be a really nice project. Um, so these are 200 ping pong balls. They are really cheap and probably not usable for ping pong. But as you can see they are not labeled. So you can use it for another project. And I have seen um, a YouTuber which have put them on LEDs to make uh, big glowing colors and this is a really great idea so I thought I will do my project uh, the same way I will link his video about the ping pong ball LED lights uh, in the description and uh, yeah, I hope uh, his uh, project will turn out great and mine as well. But 200 uh, are not enough. I have ordered more. <laughs> this will be much work. This will be much work. And that's a quite expensive project that will come up. But it will be fun. I hope so, at least. Yeah. These were the deliveries from China this week and um, yeah. see you next time. Bye.